right, folks. Tell them where we're at, Donnie. What another project. Had to buy another one. So we are out in the country a little bit. And Donnie has purchased this mobile home. We're going to fix it. <laughs> we're going to fix it up. Now, tell them about the lot, Donnie. The lot. It's a double lot here. Huh? We have a double lot here. From about that telephone pole there to this telephone pole is one lot. They normally set those right on the tele uh, right on the property lines. Uh huh. And Donnie was telling me that he thought it goes back to where those there's some power lines right about there, right right about where those trees are starting. But Ronnie's telling me it's going it back goes to those, twice as far back as that. He's telling me it goes back to that big tree line back there, which I can't comprehend. That, that. farther than that. It goes way back. This is 0.83 acres. That's almost an acre on just this one side. It goes way back. How wide is this, Donnie? This is a this is a hundred feet wide, if that. The mobile home seventy. Think about it. Yeah. Over okay. So the lot's probably a hundred feet wide. Both there's two lots that are it identical. Three hundred feet deep. Do what? It had to be three hundred feet deep. If it's a hundred wide, it'd have to be uh, four hundred deep. 100 wide, 400 feet deep. Be 448 feet deep, 40, something like that. Oh man, I got my feet messed up with my mouth. What's, a, what's an acre? 212 by 212? They say 210 by 210. 210 by 210. So if it's 100 six, wide, 44,560 square feet. Uh, it'd be 445 feet deep if it's 100 wide. It goes way back. So we bought this very, we did buy this by the way. <laughs> Very inexpensively. Hey, the next major piece to this puzzle is yeah. it's got county water. Yes. It's a big step there. County, county water. water. So uh, this this now this trailer, this mobile home, we understand that it looks like it's in really bad shape, people. And the bars on the windows. The the bars on the windows don't worry about. It. We'll talk about all that. Yeah, we'll talk about it. It ain't nothing. Don't worry about all that, people. Now, you might think, what's this neighborhood like? Well, this isn't a neighborhood. It's out in the country. It's cow pasture across the street. And it's fine. Street. You got cows across the street. No. You hear them? <laughs> there's some people living over there. I'm sure they're good people. And there's some people living over here. I'm sure they're good people. Now, this home just recently sold. Like a month ago. For three times. What's this one uh, called? Yes. Three. Yeah, three times, but they only got half as much land. Yeah, so it sold for about three times what this one we bought it for, and they only had half as much land. So I don't know if there's enough room here, though, to put another one in. Well, oh, you, they got that much room. You probably could if you went back behind those power lines, but you might not be able to legally go behind those power lines. I don't know how that works. I guess, yeah, I guess they could run it through your front door. I don't know, but that's down the road, people. Long-term stuff. So we're gonna go look at this thing, and you, and if you think that we're joking, we ain't joking. We are not joking. We bought this <laughs> this piece of property very inexpensively from a gentleman, nice guy, who uh, doesn't live in his county and no longer wanted to own it. So tell him the history of this. You know, I know a little bit of history you don't know. Oh hey. This popped up about 2008 on this lot. Before 2008, there was nothing here. Well, I come here about probably been 10 years. Yeah. Something, plus or minus a few, whatever. And this was a convenience store. Do you think Bo put it on the lot just to make it a convenience store? He may have. I don't know, but I know this was a convenience store. I stopped <laughs> here and bought a Coke. So this, this gentleman, Bo, that we know, um, We've known for a long time. He <laughs> he bought an arcade game from us one time at the flea market. Uh -huh. and it, it broke or something, and he called us on the phone, and he said, hey, he left us a message, and he said, Hey, this is Bo. Call me back. You know who this is. <laughs> and I hung up the phone. <laughs> but anyway, we didn't buy it from him. We bought it from somebody else. But he owned a convenience store in this freaking mobile home. That's why it has bars on all the windows, because it was a store out in the middle of the country. Yeah, they didn't want somebody breaking through the window. Yeah, so we're, we our goal would be to make it into a house that somebody could rent. Now, it's probably in really rough shape inside, but here's the thing. And, and, and another fun fact, we have not been inside. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been inside. So, we got a good deal that basically would have been a good deal if it was just the land 
and the uh, septic and the county, county water. water. County water, county water. That means you don't have to put in a well. Well cost you, right now it's costing about uh, $8,000. I just saved 8,000. Exactly. Now last time we bought a mobile home and had to have it delivered. That's gonna save me 10,000. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Cause you had to buy the mobile home and then you had to have it delivered. So even though this one's beat all the crap, the other one was too. It just looked like it wasn't. You gotta have it delivered. You gotta have it blocked up. You gotta have underpinning put under it. You gotta pay to have electricity ran to it. You gotta pay to hook the sewer up. You gotta pay to hook the water up. All that's already done. Yeah. Even so, though the the outside of it looks excellent, actually. Yeah. If you look at what's there, you have to have the eye. So let's talk. Let's start talking about the eye so that they understand, Donnie. So the, one of the first things you do, you come in here and you tear all these damn trees down. Yep. Because none of these were planted with the purpose of growing where they're growing. And guess what? We've got a machine that'll do that this in the front of this house in about five minutes. And you like running it. Yeah, absolutely. Donnie likes getting on the excavator. So you come out here and you tear all this crap down, okay? Well, then it looks a lot better because it doesn't look like the, the, the wilderness is taking over. And then the next thing you do is you get a impact wrench and you tear all these damn bars off the windows and, and recycle them because steel's worth a fortune right now. Um, and then this little storage thing, you tear it down and get it the hell out of here, right? So you start cleaning up, mainly. That power pole, get it out, get all this trash laying around here. Out yeah. Here. So like the power pole, look, that's not hooked up. It's just sitting there. It's because they had a storage building there that he probably was keeping all his beer in. And something else y'all don't see. That power pole set up there is about 250 bucks. Yep. So, so you could save that and use it. It's going to our store. Hey, we could hook that on the green building. Call that guys back. Uh -huh. Our electrician's doing some ele some electrical work right now and he's going to have to buy all that stuff. But anyway, let's look at this storage thing here, Donnie. So this, this house is basically, it's just sitting here kind of abandoned, you know? I mean, a guy owns it, obviously, but it's it's been sitting here a long time. But And even though we're out in the country, there's not a lot of vandalism or anything because there's neighbors, and you, this, is, this isn't... I thought this was all the way full of trash, people. Uh -huh. I was sure we had another situation like we did at the mobile home. Yeah. It's all the way full of aluminum Coke cans. No, darling. They're bringing 75 cents a pound right That now. might pay for the whole lot. Look at that shit. Is it really aluminum cans? All the way full of aluminum cans. Oh, man, if we Mountain tell Dew Gene, cans. he's going to come over here. Look at this. Everywhere, Mountain Dew cans, that whole thing. I thought it was all trash. It's all Mountain Dew cans. All right. <laughs> There's a little hey, bit of trash damn, mixed in there. That's a damn engine. That's Wisconsin. There's a little mm. bit of trash mixed in, but 90% of that is damn aluminum Well, cans. Donnie thinks we can recycle it. Uh, we will. Okay. We well, I'll let you and Gene handle that. But the building ain't no good. See, there's a hole in the roof. I mean. So this, we go get that, rid of this. That down values the, the property. Yes. It makes the property worth less money. See, most people, they look at this like you looked at it when we started the video and say, oh, that thing's, oh my God, what are they thinking? That's the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen. It looks bad, but it's not really that bad. It's 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 disguised, okay? Uh -huh, like them little trees. So now, all these little trees you gotta get rid of. These will get bad. If you let them sit here, yeah. they're gonna tear up everything. That, but they're not That tree will knock over that end of the house eventually if you don't mess with it. Okay, so we're moving right along. So there's a piece of trim missing there, Donnie. Piece of trim. Well, that's a big deal. But all the underpinning is still All the underpinning's there. Okay, so we got this little rickety, uh, Deck. We'll probably replace that, or we might rebuild it like you did the last one. I don't think we can flip this one. Should we go up there and look in that window? No. You don't think so? No. Why not? Let's keep walking around. Oh. So this deck's got to go. But again, think about it. The deck's gone. It looks a lot better. The deck's going to cost me... Uh, How much have we spent so far? Nothing. I haven't spent anything. We're just cleaning up. Okay. Well, we might have spent couple hundred bucks getting the uh, getting the equipment here and stuff like that. All right. We're going to go up and look in the windows here in a little bit, right? There's another piece of trim missing. But look. Oh, yeah, it's hanging there. Look, we'll just pull it off. Well, we can, we'll can put stuff up. It'll we'll, be all right. We'll pull the trim off and nobody will even know it was there. Mm -hmm. But no, it's no big zero. No big problem. No. But what about the roof, Donnie? What do you think right. about the roof? The roof looks good, man. There's one rest spot there. It needs. Tell them about that paint stuff. It needs cool seal put on it. You cool seal it, you cool. Okay, so no big deal, no big deal. Uh, so what's happening here, Donnie? Man, we got five pieces of, of underpinning blowed off, but they're laying under the trailer there. Okay. They need to be stood back up. It's nothing. 
Hey, go, let's look at this water spigot. Water spigot. Hey, there's your trim you needed. Yep, right there it is. We found the trim. Don't touch it, the paperwork's not done yet. By the time you see this video, all the paperwork's done. But... Oh, oh. You know what that just told us? All the plumbing is still intact, none of it froze. Well, that's true, because it wouldn't have had any kind it of... It wouldn't have had no pressure on it. Maybe that was just a little bit right there, though. Yeah, but that pipe goes back to everything else. Oh, okay. It keeps pressure. All right. Look right there, Ron. You want to look in the window so bad, look. Look. Right there. We, we want to in the window. We want to show you the, uh, the, big, the bars. That's rebar. Now, if we remove those, it's going to look about like a trailer looks, so that's not going to be that big of a deal. Tell them what's going on with this one, Donnie. Somebody cut a hole in there, okay, and they put an air conditioner unit. That's the only <laughs> to keep from stealing the air conditioner unit. Now, with that on there, we got a hole cut in the side of the building. There's going to be some problems in there on the floor. Yeah, but everybody's like, oh, my God, it's got a hole cut in the side of the building. We'll just put a window there. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that's what was there. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can see, you can see the trim all around it. See the little things? There was a window there at one point. You just need another window. Okay. No big deal. I haven't spent any money yet. Nope. There's that more siding. Side looks good, yeah. Basically, that's the trim to go above. You see here? Oh, yeah. That's the trim to go above all that. All right. And you can buy all that stuff. That Lowe's. Lowe's Home Depot. Okay. Now look at what they did to the back. You're going to love this. They might not be able to see it. They built this run addition on, but it's under the roof line. So all the water is hitting the edge of that thing. So there's no penetrations in our roof. They have built a building on the back of the truck. So all that's got to go. Now, Donnie. Let me throw something at you. That's a deck. I know. So we might be able to just tear off the walls and make it into a deck again, depending well, on what kind of shape it's in. The problem is, they took the deck up and they put OSB flooring down. Oh, yeah, that won't work. All right. So that's a deck, but we might be able to fix that up. Or if not, we'll get rid of it. But we very well could possibly keep the supports and all and just build the, yeah. build the top on it so it won't cost so that's where our service entrance is. The meter is actually even still set. Now, look at this part of the thing. First thing that comes to your mind, they got all these damn windows barred up except that one. Yeah. And look at that big old window unit in there. Don't make no sense. Maybe somebody came in. Maybe somebody moved in. Let's go see if there were bars on it. I bet somebody moved yeah, in. There is bars. I bet somebody moved in and started working on it, and that was the first thing they did. It's that one. That's the bars that go on it. Flip it upside down, the window unit go oh, in. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you see the holes on the top of them. All righty. Well, let's keep going. Now, the yard's all overgrown. Here's, the, here's what you do with your trash when you move in the front. A lot of trash out here. They've been burning stuff. Right there. There's another $50. You got to watch your, oh yeah, a bunch more can. You got to watch who your tenants are. That they, There's well, another $50 worth of loan. Going to come in here and not whore up the place any worse than it already is. All right. Do you see how they kept that roof line underneath the other roof line? So they never, they yeah. never hurt the roof. Uh -huh. And there's plumbing. The reason I said I thought that was a bathroom or a kitchen or something, see that plumbing coming down? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go over there and show them that, Donnie. It's, it's uh, mating season for rattlesnakes to so just keep an eye out. Yeah, if you hear one, people let us know. Of course, you're seeing this movie months after we filmed it. That's a, that's a bathroom because it's got a three inch sewer pipe. It's got to yeah. be a bathroom. Yep, that's clearly a bathroom. Right there at the wall. Okay. Come off that one. That's pretty crazy. It looks like they had bars on the back door there also. Uh huh. That played up there. Uh huh. Somebody just went right through the side of it there. We might get in there, Donnie, and everything's real nice. Oh, yeah. Might happen. 
Okay. Okay, y'all, there's a, um... I see the plumbing. A, there must be another bathroom over there. Mm -hmm. There's a bathroom, oh, there's a four inch sewer line running this way. So since they made this a, uh, a, a uh, convenience store, we're thinking it probably doesn't have a kitchen anymore. And it probably doesn't have bathrooms anymore. But if you think about the last one that we did, we had to rebuild both bathrooms anyway. Completely gutted them. So if you're going to do that anyway, why do you care if there's one there that's half ruined or not? I, originally it was designed for one. So all you got to do is go and put it back in the way it was. Now here's, there was central air it looks like at one yeah, point. Yeah, that's why I was just looking at. That, that right there is a quick disconnect. That is for air conditioning. I now, was worried about that. What we did on our previous one was we put, you know, we're in South Carolina, it's hot as hell right now. So, and it's only May, okay? But, uh, uh, it was only equipped with heat. It yeah. did not have central air and heat. It yeah. had central air, uh, central heat. Yeah. So what we did, we went in there and just changed the unit out to have central air and heat. We ha we've got an AC guy who's real good. He just... You call him, you tell him what you're doing, he'll do about anything, he'll cut you a good price, and the guy does a good job and gets it handled, and so we we don't mess with any of the air and heat, we just let him handle it. But he's already told me, if it never had air and heat, steer clear. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we'll see what he says about this one. But really, I'm not seeing a ton of money to spend here on the outside. We need to work on the ceiling, obviously, the roof, obviously. Uh, probably gonna need a few windows. Well, but I didn't see any broke out. Talk about the roof. We need to coat the roof. Yeah. Roof coating is about uh, to do the whole trailer is about 250 bucks. Yeah. So it's not it's not a huge deal. A lot of this is like cosmetic. Now the inside, I'm sure, is a completely different story. Yep. But this is what we're looking at on the outside. So I'm gonna go see if we can find any place to poke a camera through and show you what the inside looks like. All right, folks. So we have came inside now again. We uh, are buying this. Already uh, got it all the ball rolling, talking to the owner. I've got the receipt in my truck. By the time you see this video, it will be uh, in our possession at the lawyer's office. But it, what we want to do is show you what is going on. Now, again, they had turned it into a convenience store. <laughs> and somebody, didn't, didn't he say somebody bought it and was trying to live in it too? So they may come in and get some of this stuff. There is a huge Coca-Cola <laughs> drink thing in the front. We'll get rid of that. Um, so this, what are we looking at, Donnie? Is this the living room? No, that would be a bedroom. That would have to be a bedroom. Yeah, so we'd have, we're probably going to have to put some walls up. Well, you see where the oh. wall was. Uh... You know what? This would be like just like just laid out just like our other one. This yeah. would be a bedroom, and then there would be a bathroom about here. There's a bathroom there right there. There's a oh, yeah. There oh, hell, you can see it. Look. That's where the tub was. That's central air and heat. This is laid out just like, exactly like right our other. There's a hallway. Yeah. So th this is actually where the bathtub originally would have been. There would be a wall here. And then this is the bedroom. Um, this is the bedroom door. Right? Wall down, down there. So you step through the bedroom door out into the hallway. Right here, Ron. Now we're looking into the bathroom. Come here. This is where the central air and heat is in the other one. Yeah, there's a wall right there. That's the walkway. Okay, and here's the hallway. This is laid out exactly like our other one. That's pretty cool. Um, except this one doesn't smell. And this one is two foot wide. Is it? Yeah, this one's 16. Oh yeah, it is. Now that you mentioned This one's two foot wider. Two foot wider. So you might say, oh God, the whole bathroom's gone. If you walk, go back and watch our other one. We rebuilt the entire bathroom. It was down to the studs. The only thing we kept out of the whole bathroom was a commode. Yep, and I'll go buy it. Hey, I saw them at Lowe's the other day, $79. Um, so yeah, so the plan would be just put it back exactly like the other one. Hmm, interesting. Okay, and so that wall there, what's going on? Why is there a wall there, Donnie? Oh, this was a three bedroom. 
Yep. This was a three bedroom. So it probably is a little bit longer than the other one. Well, I don't know. See, there's a wall there too that they've left a board up. Yeah, and this is the living room wall. I had the two lights in it. Yeah, right just beside the door. Yep. Just yeah, the uh, it's a little longer, I think. Yep. So maybe there was a. I got it at. I got it specked out at ten foot longer. With hmm. the tape measure. So we'll have to look online and see what some of the layouts of some of this stuff looks like. It could be that there's another room here. I don't know what it would be though. There's two bedrooms. But man, that's kind of a small bedroom. No, not really. Watch out. Okay, look. Yeah, I mean you can see. The floor is back right there. This phone. Uh huh. That's when you buy these. That's what you're looking at. You got screwed up floors. What? Nine foot. I don't know, man. I don't know what that would be. Uh, we'll, we'll have to look at some other ones and just figure out what that is. You know what's going on? This, if this was the living room, it would. Same size. This is eight foot six. Hmm. Eight foot six, and this would be where you have to. Here we go. That was probably inside that room. Mm hmm. That put me at eight foot would be here. And an eight foot bedroom, though. Eight foot by. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Might just make a real big bathroom. Eight buddy. foot by 12. Might make a big bathroom and a bigger living room. Make this a master suite over here. Maybe. Yeah, it might do something like that. Maybe it is. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Maybe that was a master suite. And we'll go check out the other one here in a minute. Okay, so that's that. So if you're walking in the doorway, this is the living room. The reason we had to turn the camera off earlier is just to make sure there weren't any dead bodies in here or anything. Yeah, we want to make sure we don't have any problems. And uh, I, if I have to do something, I don't want it to be on film. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to edit that out. Okay. All right, I'll edit it. <laughs> Wasn't any problems, people. Everything's cool. All right, so I didn't notice this. The pig feeder or the other huge ass? This cooler that's cooler. Uh, 15 feet long. Donnie, pick that up. Huh. I'll stand back. Look. I got guys I pay for this kind of stuff. Pick up that end of it so we can get it out that door. Ooh. Yeah, I saw that. Can you tell me anything about the... Yeah, I don't know about all that. Y'all y'all know what that is? I haven't showed them yet. It's empty. Uh, so you can't pick that up? No. Okay, so uh, no. I think it could happen. Yeah, we. I can get it out. It's going to get out that door eventually. Yeah. Or out the back door. How out the, the hell did they get it in? It right. must have just barely went through that door. Look, they brought it right through there. That's probably why this edge trimmed off. Probably. Look at the, uh, look at the <laughs> handicap ramp. It was really so they could push a beer cooler in. Okay, so we're moving right along. This people. stuff right here is what you got to watch for. Yeah, you don't want plants. Inside plants the house. will ruin a building. You may not believe that, but they will. Nothing, nothing will hurt a building more worse than Mother Nature and plants. Hey, didn't we have that same? Hey, hole? it's a damn lawnmower in there. I just thought. <laughs> didn't we have that same hole in the other? One? I'm pretty sure that same hole was there. Maybe. People are freaking out watching this probably, and I don't think it's that big of a deal, man. I, this. I think we're looking pretty good. None of the windows are broke. It's kind of it's kind of warm in here, but there's no like mold smell or anything like that. Damn, that's gonna be rough to clean that up. What if I get somebody to clean them down? The duct cleaning people. Yeah, call the duct cleaning people and clean the duct. Donnie, we need to show them the kitchen. It's right here. Now I'm this on our last one, right by the back door, there was a kind of like a dining room thing. Table. Table. 
Right, right there was the refrigerator. Obviously, the refrigerator one. goes there. Right beside it, we had a built-in set of cabinets there. Mm -hmm. This one don't have it. That right there was a stove, obviously. Mm -hmm. We had some more cabinets here. And right here on the floor, you can see they had cabinets come out. Mm -hmm. Like a bar. Ours had this, but somebody took it out before we got it. We seen it down cut over here in the wall. Mm -hmm. Right there, that's the vent for the stove. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the air will actually push the, the vent out. Oh, they got you now. They got you. They got you, Donnie. All right, and the, you know, in the in the the living room and the kitchen area, it has this kind of vaulted ceiling, which, yep. you know, I know a lot of you are watching this, and you live in a nice house like I do and like Donnie does, but. No, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on to that, man. This is a damn nice. That's house. what I. That's what I was about to say. I know to a lot of people, this they see this and they go, "Oh man, what a hellhole!" This is actually a pretty nice little place to live once you get it fixed up. It's obviously been ran into the ground, but they turned it into a. Uh, a convenience store. All in all, I don't think they hurt it. I think it's in better shape than the last one we did, and we made it pretty nice. Well, the floor ain't half as bad. Yeah. There's gonna be some spots. Don't get me wrong. What you, what you had to do is you rip all this stuff up, and then you look at the the, the OSB and the plywood under it. A, a, a lot of the problem is they replaced they, they put in the subfloor with OSB, and it gets wet and rots. But you can order it with plywood. Yeah, you can so order a plywood. Very well, could have plywood. <laughs> That's why it feels so good. OSB. OSB. Well, you screwed that story up. All right, we're going to the back. So, Donnie, kitchen cabinets are all gone, but um, I think you just put in. You can buy like used sets of cabinets. I think you just. Uh, I think you just uh, go buy your nice new set, used set of cabinets, and then put them in wherever you can and run with it. Okay, so here's the back door. Uh, we looked out there. It's just a big storage room is that thing that they built on the back. So we'll definitely be tearing that off. What the hell is this? Oh, this is That's a, refrigerator. a little refrigerator from something, an RV or something. Okay, walking back. We've already been back here now, people, so everything's cool. This is a little washer and dryer area. I need my big light. Uh, yeah, if you get, well, if you got it in the truck, all right, Donnie's gonna go get the big light. We'll be right back. Okay, folks, so here's one of the things that you look for. I found this paper. This is our local paper, and it's from February 22nd, 2011. So it probably laid around for a year or two, and then that's when everybody moved out. So right there. gives you a little bit of an idea. Right there's $2 on it. I ain't eating that nasty crap. You gonna eat that? Damn right, see you. I might take it back to Bo. You think Bo's gonna watch us get mad? We ain't saying nothing. We like Bo. Bo, we're just trying to fix this place up, man. All right, so this is where the washer and dryer was. And uh, that's all cool. There's the vent. There's that same. There's our hookups. Very cool. There's that same bathroom that big fat lady fell through. That's what they call the garden tub. This one's interesting, though. It has two doors going into it. Because this was the master suite. Why do I see something furry in the bathtub? Okay, I'm gonna go let you go look at it. That's a cat or a possum one. And it's a lot of. All right, so the bathroom had a. Uh, it actually looks pretty good. Donnie, you gonna look in the toilet? <laughs> look at him. Well, so this, Ronnie's got used to these right here. This would be the master bedroom. This is set up exactly like the other one. They had this. 3,500 watt element only. Look how big that thing is. They must have done it because uh, they just needed exactly. a lot of water. I know exactly what's going on here. What? This is the kitchen. They had made this a kitchen. Oh, you yep. got your, mm -hmm. your blowout, okay? Look, extra plug-ins, 220 plug-in, uh -huh. all this smooth wall, they covered that window up, everything, this was all yep. kitchen, okay. extra, extra piping, Yep. extra piping, so basically all this needs to just be ripped out, have we this, spent any money yet? Not really, you know, obviously this, you see what they did there, they made that bigger for some reason, 
I don't know what they did there. I guess they were just trying to put a wider door in, but I don't know why you go through all Now, let's look at this electrical. What do you think, all of my electrician friends? Fine, fine, all right. fine, fine. Here we go. Kitchen, living room, lights. Uh, FBR, bath hall. Front bedroom, bath hall, washer and dryer, bath something. Washer, cooler range. Uh, AC, AC. Look, I had grill written on that. They crossed out AC and wrote grill. Uh, boy, we're lucky they didn't burn the thing down. Look, it says ice. They had an ice maker. So, you know what this you know what this means, though? The wiring might actually be an issue in this house. Because Two, 200 amps. They've added so much stuff. They might... I, we're going to have to check all that. Um, furnace, furnace, furnace. Furnace, furnace. Why would it be four or four different furnace? I guess outdoor unit, indoor unit. At 60 amp, that's the furnace. 20 amp ain't no damn furnace. Well... Another 60. And then AC outside light. Donnie, I think we did good here, really. I mean, we got a good deal on it. And it's in better shape, I think, than the other one was when we started. Uh-huh. I'm going to get back over here towards this window. I'm getting hot. I'm back. <laughs> so the first thing that we would need to do is come in here and start cleaning stuff out, I guess. Work on the yard a little bit. We need to go to the scrapyard. Yeah, go to the scrapyard. All right, so we'll go back outside. Y'all, so this is what we got. Uh, this is what we're gonna work with. Uh, do you think we can do it? <laughs> do you think we're crazy? What uh, What do you think about it? Leave your comments below and let us know. Can you and believe he, he wrote me into this, people? We bought this site unseen without even going inside. Can you believe that? Why do you do me like this, Donnie? That's sometimes you get the best deals you ever get. <laughs> sometimes you lose your ass. Too. Sometimes if something's a good deal, you buy it even if you don't see it, you know. If it's a good enough, if the price is good enough, it don't really matter what the inside looks like. The uh, that's basically how it went down. I remember going in this store and buying a coke when they told me it was ready, it was up for sale. I just I pulled the trigger on it, and I, honestly, I that was the first time I've been in it too. Let, let me clarify again for everybody: we're not made of money. I'm not rich. Donnie's not rich. Absolutely. It was a good deal, and. This is the type of stuff we do. This is the type of stuff other people wouldn't want to buy because they're scared of things that they see. Or things that they don't they, see. Yeah, so it's not that big of a deal. Everybody's out driving their motorcycles for Mother's Day. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal, people. It looks a lot worse than it does. The things that matter are in good shape. Yep. And the lot is mainly what matters. Yeah, the lot, what we paid, I... I'm pretty sure we could sell that other lot for what we paid for the whole place. Yeah, so, so it's all good. All right, so leave your comments below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up, people. By the way, did you know this starts a whole new series? So if you haven't seen our other series, we've done several. We did a whole other mobile home. See, we were calling this a trailer when we got here, but now it's a mobile home. Yep, that's right. Because we're going to make it someone's home. Uh, we did a whole other mobile home. We did the grocery store downtown. We did the 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 uh, uh, jailhouse. The jailhouse. We did the flower shop. We've done several things. We've done other ones too that we haven't either. You haven't seen yet, or we ha we haven't filmed. But uh, this is what we do. We buy old things that are abandoned and forgotten, and then we fix them back up. Now you may not think that there's much merit in fixing up a, a '80s model mobile home, but this this is hurting the the community. You know what I mean? If you got an old abandoned mobile home around that ain't doing nobody any favors but instead of tearing it down or burning it down or whatever you can fix it up and make it a nice little place that somebody can rent and live in and so we're keeping it out of the damn trash dump exactly all this insulation all this damn wood inside of it all this stuff we just exactly. go to the landfill we're keeping it all out of there yeah so we're uh we're it's fun to us and it's cool and we end up, you know, you invest a little bit of money and you end up with a nice little piece of property that you can rent and it's a long-term thing and it's worked out really good for us several times in the past and uh, this we're ready to do This one might not next... work out for us. Yeah. But if it don't... We'll have it all on tape. We'll have it on film. So we'll see y'all next time. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe unless you're crazy. Yeah, subscribe. Subscribe. It's down below. Y'all know what to do. It's free. <laughs> it's the only thing in life that's free anymore. So go ahead and do it. We'll see you on the next video.